Good morning. By the time you get this video, it may be afternoon and it might be uh, also by this time you've already had your pictures taken for the church directory. If you haven't, I'm sure it's coming up in the next couple hours. But nevertheless, um, I hope that you did get a chance to sign up to have your picture taken for our new pictorial directory that will be coming out in a few weeks. Also, I want to mention a little just briefly about worship, that we are open at full capacity for worship. That the only thing that we're not doing right now is our choir is not uh, practicing and singing. And we're also asking people to keep some social distancing as they enter and as they leave the building. And we also, our assumption is that you have been fully vaccinated. And so we want you, we want you, we encourage you to come and to worship with us. Um, I think that um, I want to say a little bit today about knowing God and uh, one of the simplest things that we can understand is the fact that God e exists and is around us. And yet it's always also the most difficult thing for us to understand. Now, if that sentence confounds you, it should. It's simple because God made himself available to us as we look around at nature, as we see all that God created, as we stand at the base of a mountain peak with all of its majesty and and size and, and, and magnitude, we are reminded that there's a creative hand of God that made all this and set it in motion. Now, you ever looked at a newborn baby and you see the, this miracle that is in front of you? You recognize that God took a group of cells, put them together, and allowed this child to come into the world with all of its in intelligence, its soul, everything that's intact, to create that child, it's amazing to realize what God can do. So we're reminded of God's greatness and God's glory all around us. He even made salvation simple to us. We drive past a church building and we see a cross up on the steeple or we see a cross around somebody's neck in, a neck, in the form of a necklace. And we are reminded of the great sacrifice that Jesus made on our behalf where God sent his only son into the world to save the world. And, you know, when we see that, we realize how simple God really is and how God has made himself known to us. It all seems so simple until we're confronted with a question that might confound us about the nature of God. Atheists and agnostics can't bring themselves to accept the simple explanation of God because they get caught up in the more mysterious and difficult questions that confound them. They want God to be fully explainable. And that brings us to the second part of God's nature. As simple as it is to see God's fingerprint on the world, we can not fully comprehend his nature and being. We cannot fully know God. God is too complex. For example, there's three attributes of God that we we often cite. First of all, we say that God is omnipotent, that God is all powerful. But how can we quantify that? How can we really understand God as being all powerful? How can we fully understand what is contained in an all powerful being? Someone once came up with the riddle Can God create a rock so big and so heavy that God can't lift it? Now, no matter how you answer that question, what it ends up doing is weakening the nature of God to match our inferior intellect. We can't fully understand how a God that great can operate. We also know that God is omniscient. That's the second aspect of God, that God knows all things. He knew us before we are born, and, and he will remember us long after we're gone from this earth. Again, we cannot comprehend God's vast intelligence. And the third thing, and I'm shortening these, I'm very brief on these explanations, that God is omnipresent, that God is everywhere, that God is not even contained by the walls of the universe, but rather extends to the outward reaches of our imagination. Again, we can't comprehend God's depth and breadth and height. So while God is simple to see and God is simple to recognize, God is also vast and incomprehensible. 
God is truly amazing. May you get to know God better. During this uh, time of the year right now, I'm going through the series Experiencing God, and we are dealing with the seven realities of knowing God. And I hope that you'll come and listen to those messages on Sunday morning and begin to absorb and get to know God in a greater way. God bless you today. Amen.